back to another video. Uh, it's been a little break for me. Uh, I've been working on a very big project. Hope to have a video on that sometime in the spring. But for this video, it's going to be about how to hand draw your air force. So oftentimes, maybe you're drawing a construction plan, building a wing rib jig or something, and you want to have a full scale drawing of it. So you could just go and print it off. Maybe you don't have a printer, or you don't have a way of doing that. So I can show you today how to do it by hand, the old fashioned way. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so for starters, you're going to want to go to this website called airfoiltools.com. And then from here, you can pick out pretty much any airfoil you want. So uh, maybe let's just go down to the NACA airfoils here and pick one out. Uh, yeah, let's say this one. NACA 2410. This page here will give you a pretty good overview of the airfoil. Uh, up here will be the max thickness, max camber. Here's a preview data file. Some similar airfoils, you can check out the previews and details. Uh, then down here is all your graphs for the different designs. This will tell you your lift coefficient versus your angle of attack, lift versus drag. But up here, we can do send it to the airfoil plotter. And now here, you can actually plot full-scale plans of your airfoil. So you can do that and then print it off, but that would just be kind of boring. What you can do is define the width and the height of the paper, and then just manually put it in the cord. So in our case, let's just say 200 mill millimeters. Then from that, you can get the coordinate file. We can go open that up. And then what you're going to want to do is go and open it as a text file. And this will give you all your coordinates. So once you've got that, then you can uh, take it and transcribe it into your uh, paper. So after you've got your coordinate file, you can start plotting them. All you have to do is just define an origin point somewhere here. And that's where you'll base all your coordinates off of. So I'll just say here. Then, you draw your cord line, which is essentially the, the length of your airfoil. So in our case it was 20 uh, centimeters. Then, you can start plotting. So I see here the first coordinate is 0, 0. So who could get, we'll take, put a point there, 0, 0. Next is 2.2, 3.4. So that means we we'll go over 2.2, 2.2 millimeters, and then go up 3.4. So over 2, and up 3, put a point there. And then just keep doing that for all your points. So that is the top surface done. Then we just move on to the underside, which is very much the same thing. got it all uh, plotted out like that. The only thing left to do is to just join them up. So I mean all you gotta do is just really draw lines in between it and try to make it curve as nicely as possible. Alright so that's a decent job. Obviously you can improve it a little bit. The more points you plot the better it'll be. Um, but this will give you a pretty decent shape to work with. Yeah. And then if you want, you can obviously go and draw your camber line as well, or you can finish it off. We'll just finish off this drawing here. And 
And there you go, that is a finished airfoil. Full scale that you can use for whatever your model uh, aircraft desires. Anyway, I hope this video helped you out with something. Uh, thank you for watching and until next time. Thank you.